Here's a GRE geometry question. Let's take a look. In the right triangle below, what is the value of A? So we're told that this is a right triangle, right? We have our, our 90 degree angle right there, and we got three sides. This side, xz, this side, xy, and this side, uh, yz. And each of these are expressed in terms of A. So A minus 4, A plus 3, and A plus 4. Now, because this is a right triangle, we immediately know that we can use the Pythagorean theorem. Do you remember the Pythagorean theorem? If not, here it is. The Pythagorean theorem says that a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. And what are a, b, and c? Well, a, b, and c are just the sides of this triangle. So this is saying that one side squared plus another side squared should equal the hypotenuse squared. Now, the long way to do this, of course, would be to plug in each of these values into this equation and, uh, and solve it. And that's get, that gets pretty messy, trust me. You end up with a quadratic, and it's, it's not a lot of fun. But knock yourself out if you're an algebra person. Instead, a much quicker way to solve this would be to use the answer options that were given, right? So let's start somewhere in the middle. We'll start with answer option C, which is 8. Let's suppose that A equals 8. And of course, we're talking about the A here, right? So 8, eight minus 4 would be 4. 8 plus 3 would be 11, and 8 plus 4 would be 12. Well, does this fit in the Pythagorean, Pythagorean theorem? Is 4 squared, 16, plus 11 squared, 121, equal to uh, 12 squared, 144? It's not. Double check that on your calculator, right? So we got to go to the next one, either up or down. Let's go down. If, uh, if A were to equal 9, cross these ones out because these don't work. If a were to equal 9, then I would get 9 minus 4, that's 5. I would get 9 plus 3, that's 12. And I would get 9 plus 4, that's 13. And the Pythagorean theorem says a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Does it work? Let's find out. 5 squared plus 12 squared equals 13 squared. Is that true? It happens to be true. And this is the only one that works. Now, you might think that I cheated a little bit, right? Starting at the middle and, and going to the next one. And fair enough, but it is a good idea to start in the middle. Here's what I'll say, though. 5, 12, 13 is what's known as a Pythagorean triple. That is a set of three numbers that work in the Pythagorean theorem. I'm going to give you the other ones here. 3, 4, 5 is one of them. And uh, we have 5, 12, 13 here. And 7, 24, 25. All these are are triplets of numbers that work in the a squared plus b squared plus c squared uh, pattern. So if you know them and you recognize them, then you don't actually have to do the math of, of uh, the Pythagorean theorem. You just know that they work. So again, I would just suggest that you memorize these as, as uh, shorthands for whenever you see them. For more GRE tips and tricks or to sign up for my live online course, follow the link on my profile.